Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a eye tutorial. Obviously you can see one side is done and I'm going to show you how to create it on this eye. So we can do that together. And what I used is the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Beautiful colors in here and you will get to see all of those. I've tested out a good portion of them and they are just fantastic. Um, so we're gonna use several of these to create this eye look today and we're gonna use some Morphe brushes also. I really wish that they were printed on the face of here, but you know, I do understand because the palette is very affordable that they don't do those extra things and they include this in with the palette so you can actually tell what the names are on which one. It's kind of like when you're eating chocolates in the box and you, you don't know which one's which so you have to go look for this, the guide. So that's kind of how it is. Um, and we are going to just start it right now. Uh, first, we're going to prime our eye using the Tarte Shape Tape and mine is in fair neutral. I actually was kind of worried that this would be too light, but it's perfect. It really gives a nice highlight. Um, it gives awesome coverage and it does not crease. That was so important for me. And I'm just spreading this out and blending it into the skin um, with my Wet n Wild small concealer brush. Actually, it's the medium one. I'm going to set that concealer with my RCMA no color powder. I love this stuff. It sets your makeup so, so well. Now we are going to go right into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going in with my M504 brush and we're going to pick up these two colors and these are very flesh tone. And because this is so fair, I'm actually gonna go into this color here, pick up, add a little more color, lay that down. Okay, now that that transition is um, blended out nicely and we got that good start to our eye look here, we are going to go in with um, our R37 brush from Morphe. And we're going to go into this mustard color right here, which is called Creamsicle. And then we are just going to go right in that crease area and a little right onto like the eyeball. And just blend it side to side windshield wiper motions. This color actually transitions the um, lower lid to the upper lid really, really nicely. And I wanted to use this before we layer on any darker colors so that they blend a little better. Okay, our next color we're going to go into is this little, this darker color, deeper than the creamsicle, and this one is called Pukey. Ew. But it actually translates nicely onto the eye. So this just deepens and intensifies that mustardy color. Next, we're going to go into this color here. And this color is called, what is it called? Roxanne. And it's a matte color. And we are going to, again, we're going to go into the outer area and then we're gonna sweep it up a little higher here because I really want this to show when my eyes are open, I want that color to show. And then just bring it right into the inner. And I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what, what brush this was. This is M433. And then just sweep it down onto the lower lid. Okay, and we're going to deepen this in the outer V with this color here, which is called Jax. So I'm going to be very careful with my placement of this. I don't want it blending out too far. Keep it nice and rich over here. Take it a little into the crease of our eye. Okay, so that's looking nice. And just keep blending. 
Okay, lastly, we're going to go into this bottom, very rich kind of grayish brown, gray blue brown color. And that one is called Central. Yeah, Central Park. This color is called Central Park. And we're just going to really make the outer V pop because we're going to accentuate it with that darker color. And lastly, we're going to go in with a Morphe M506 brush, and this is great for laying down um, specific uh, in a specific area, like your inner corner, right along the lash line of a color. So I want to go back into this beautiful color, Beam, and we're going to go right along that lash line in the inner corner here and really make that pop. Okay, our upper eyelid is done. Now we're gonna go on the lower lid. I'm just gonna take my um, R37 back into Creamsicle and go right along that lower lash line. We really want to just blend this out. So don't worry about being precise. And blend it all the way up. Okay, and then we are going to go into this color right here, um, which is called Roxanne, or let's see, yes, it's called Roxanne. <laughs> and just go in your outer, like half of your under eye. Next, we are going to add some eyeliner here, and this is the Lorac, um Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner, and this is an Antique Gold. Now I'm only gonna line my lower lash line and the outer third. I don't wanna go all the way in. And lastly, we are going to add our lashes, and this will complete the look. And these lashes I picked up at Sephora, and gosh, what are they called? Um, let's see, it's just the Sephora collection, um, House of Lashes, and this is called Everlasting. And you guys already know I hate putting lashes on. I really do. Yay, it worked. We're almost done. The last thing is to put on our Lash Paradise Mascara because this is the best stuff on earth. I mean, this is better than the Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara. For one, it only costs $9. Two, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer um, through the heat, through the humidity. This stuff has proven itself over and over again to me. So I would recommend already own it as fast as you can because it's worth the money, which isn't much. Okay, I wanted to also highlight the cheek area with this color right here, which is Beam. And Yes, it is working. That's beautiful. And this brush works really well to put the highlighter on. It doesn't um, disperse it too much, but it's also not just like a strip right on your face. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you really liked this and enjoyed this. Um, it was a pretty simple eye tutorial. We didn't have to use too many colors and it wasn't too intricate, um, but I really, I'm happy with this look. I think that the colors and the range that are in her palette are really great. The quality is great. She did an amazing job and I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, so if you guys liked it, go out and you can purchase one yourself. Now I have to do it online um, because there are no stores around here that carry it. Um, so I would recommend that and I can put a link down below if you want to hit that down arrow for that.
And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you are subscribed, I appreciate it. If you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.